This video will be showing how to import um, data into Stata from Microsoft Excel. So what we're going to do is show a couple of different ways of doing this. The first way is we're going to show how to do it using drop down commands. So if we want a data set here, for instance, introduction to econometrics, the student sheet, we want to simply just go and bear in mind that I'm using a Mac operating system here. So this might look slightly different on a Windows PC, but the general command structure and everything is the exact same. We will go file and import, and we can choose a number of different import options here. So in this context, we're going to choose Excel spreadsheet. We're going to choose browse to select the Excel file we want to import. I'm going to choose introduction to um, econometrics, the student sheet. Now there's a couple of things here. Note that the variable names are in the first row here. So we've got time, unemployment, and inflation. And what we want to do here is click import first row as variable names. So we don't want A, B, and C as the variable names. We want to bring in time, unemployment, and inflation as the variable names. Okay. There's a number of other options such as variable case we can preserve and so on, but we're just going to simply select OK. And this will import our data into Excel, into Stata. So we'll see on the right hand side, the variables have been imported. So we've got variable names, time, unemployment, inflation. And what we can also do is we can click on the data editor up here or the data viewer here. And that will bring up the data and we can actually look at it and see it here. So that's the first way in terms of importing the data into Stata. The second way is we can actually use command prompts. So we can actually write into the command window where we want to import the data from. Now, when we use the drop down menu, we're actually given the written command as well. So here we're given import Excel, the location of the file. We're told it's in sheet one. So note that there's a number of sheets. So we're taking it from sheet one. And first row, which is the first row, is to go in as the variable names. Now, we could type that into our command window. Uh, one of the issues we'd face here is typing this long location line every time. So saying that it's in users, just in Dorn and desktop. So a little trick around that is to, with the command window, set the command directory. And the command directory is basically where everything is stored. So we're going to set the command directory, CD, and we're going to put it in quotation marks, that location. And now Stata is going to save everything to that location and pull everything from that location. We can then import the data by going import Excel and just typing in the actual name of the data set in quotation marks. The quotation marks are important anytime you have a space. So to show Stata that this is all one file, we need to specify what sheet we're taking it from. So we're taking it from sheet one. Now that needs to perfectly match what is here. So see the way with sheet one in the Excel file, there's no space. So we have sheet one and we have a capital S in sheet. That's critical as data is case sensitive and also sensitive to those spaces. And we're going to type first row, which will tell it to pull it in, in terms of the variable names uh, as being in the first row. Now, if I were to hit enter here and execute this command, we would get an error message. So I'm just going to do that to show you what the error message is. Basically, it's going to say that we already have data loaded into Stata and this would overwrite that and it's not going to let us do that. So if we hit enter, we get an error message. No data set in memory has changed since last saved. So it's not going to let us actually overwrite the data. When we use the command clear, we can see that what we have actually done here is we have gotten rid of the old and imported the new data set. Now, what is very useful with Stata is we can open what's called a do file editor here. And this is basically a way of saving all the commands we have actually implemented. So with this, what we're going to do is go to our history command and we're going to take the commands that worked for us and paste them in. Now, we can also put an annotations in the do file. Anything starting with an asterisk basically goes in in green text, and this is just notes to yourself. So what I'm going to say here is uh, the first step is to set the command directory, which is telling Stata where everything is stored. And that's on my desktop. 
And then the second command is, this is the command to import data from Excel into Stata. And what we can do is we can actually save that do file. And the next time we want to run this, we can simply highlight what we want to run and click do. And what we'll see is that automatically Stata starts to run this new analysis, okay? So do files are very handy because they let you pick up exactly where you left off and they let you replicate from a raw data set everything that you have already done. So I'd highly recommend using them rather than simply just relying on going through the drop-down menu the whole time.